Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So, uh, your first weekly Taroscope of the year. Um, now, <clears throat> You've got the Sun card, right? The Sun card is one of your cards. Yes, your card is the Strength card, but the Sun card represents the Sun, right? And the Sun is Leo's ruler. You are the only magnific magnificent being in the Zodiac that is ruled by this luminary. So this card for you does suggest that this could be a really wonderful week. Um, now, that being said, remember as well, this card very often shows up when things are uh, easier. So it's not always that money starts to rain from the sky or we get like you know the best present or the best gift that we've ever been given sometimes this literally just is the universe's way of saying you know what you get a little bit of a free pass this week so if you find that this week is a little bit easier it's a little bit smoother uh, take the wins where you can get them right and the fact that you've got this as your key to the week means that this week you may be thinking or at least feeling a bit more like yourself than you have in a long time even with the sun currently in uh, Capricorn preparing to go into the sign right opposite yours you might still be feeling you know you might still be feeling a little good and we'll take it where we can right now uh, with that said I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love like peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your actions and options this week we have the seven of pentacles slow and steady is going to win this race so for a lot of you you are thinking long term this week and in terms of your actions this is for some of you this is a week of planning it looks like you're putting pen to paper you're really starting to work very hard on what the future looks like what your plans are what your goals are for some of you as well this could be a time where you're working a lot more behind the scenes but it's going really smoothly right it's smooth it's easy you're just kind of doing your thing and saying okay you know what I'm going to take my time with this because I know that the end goal is worth it for a lot of you as well this might be a week where you start to really understand what actually is worth it for you and what really isn't this is a time of clarity I think for a lot of you uh, so I love that because it's like you know where you're putting your efforts and you know what the results are going to be they are a little slower because it is the seven of pentacles in terms of options that might be available to you as well um, this might be a week where you start to understand where your hard work is paying off and where it is that you might need to uh, readjust or readapt in some way for your communications and conversations you've got the nine of swords so okay look this is potentially some challenging news for some of you you've got this with the sun card so it's not necessarily bad news like as in the worst thing you've ever heard it might just be where there's some kind of a setback or potentially kind of a delay now because you've got it with the sun card it's not going to be very long lasting and it's not going to be too detrimental the other thing with that nine of swords as well are you you know if you're a leo sun moon or ascendant like myself uh, <laughs> you're obviously a little bit theatrical unless you're what I call the silent dignity type of Leos however the silent dignity type of Leo it doesn't mean that you guys don't do drama it just means that you don't do big displays of drama right unlike the rest of us uh, it just means that internally you might be giving yourself the theatrics and the dramatics and it's no you know the only difference is that one is external and one is internal giving yourself a hard time doesn't mean that you're not being a drama queen okay all right so <laughs> um, moving forward for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia this could literally be a challenge that arises or maybe some of your plans that are disrupted but you're like holy crap you know what this is like one of those moments where the thing that goes wrong actually works in your favor um you, you know it, it's kind of like one of those <laughs> So I'll give you an example. Let's say you put, um, you know, for and this is for all Leos in some regard. Let's say you, you know, like with me, I put out a video and it gets like a hundred thousand dislikes. Okay, you know what? It's not exactly the greatest thing, but hey, listen, it's going to bump me up that feed, right? So you do you, honey. Hate on me all you want, because either which way, it's going to benefit me. So this could be one of those things. It doesn't have to be, you know, that it's that, but that's just to give you an example. Um, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be... <laughs> 
Um, and this I actually feel like is, is quite interesting and potentially quite funny. It's like something that you've forgotten to do, some step that you have missed out, actually it's like you realize, ah, oh, okay, in not doing that, it's actually saved me time or um, it has created an opening or an opportunity for me to adapt or adjust something. So whatever the delay is, whatever it is that you've forgotten this week when it comes to those of you that are employed by others, it really does work in your favor. So try not to sort of get into that, oh no, I can't believe this is happening, it's the worst thing ever, because it's really not. And the Sun card suggests it will swing in your favor anyway. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is a week of adapt, adaptation and adjustment. So there are things that are being changed or switched up here. You might realize for some of you that with something you are actually starting from scratch or starting over. Don't let that deter you and don't let it frighten you. You know, um, this is one thing that I've often said, if you've been with me long enough, you will have heard me say this. It's like when the tower shows up, I often say to people, you know, the best thing about your life falling apart you can put it back together exactly how you choose and you can build it back much stronger. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, this will see you really looking to diverse, diversify your resources. But for some of you, it looks like you're starting to think about how you can use your time more effectively than just kind of, you know, whatever it is that you're doing at the moment. Um, for your love and relations, you've got the Six of Wands. So if you're single this week, you could, uh, you know, there's definitely potential connections that are being forged this week. With that Seven of Pentacles in your actions and options, it's likely to be either through your work or your profession or your career somehow that you end up connecting with someone or to somebody. It might not necessarily be that that is the relationship. It may be that they go on to introduce you to somebody or um, it could be that it is kind of like a slow build. It's like maybe you don't see it for that straight away or immediately, um, but you know, there's definitely a possibility. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, the Six of Wands, especially with the Nine of Swords, this is a difficult conversation this week between you and your significant other that clears the air and gets you back on track. This is where you're able to kind of say, look, you know what, this is what I up with, this is what you up with, and actually now that we know that, are we ready to do this? Yes, we are. Right, I got your crown, you got mine, let's get back to it. Um, I actually really like that. I think this could be a, a really good week for that. For those of you that are single as well, I feel like a conversation that you have with somebody might highlight to you where you're getting in your own way when it comes to the love life. So if you're here and still profoundly single, this week you may come to understand why. For your money and materials, you've got the High Priestess card. Okay, so hidden sources of resources, hidden funds or potentially um, ways of making money, uh, maybe a boost to the income this week that you either can't talk about or it comes out of the blue and so you can't really anticipate it. The other thing as well this week, if you feel like going against the grain with something when it comes to money, no matter what the general consensus is or what the outside world is telling you is or isn't a smart move, trust your gut, right? Leo is a very psychic sign. Leo is a cat. Cats are very psychic beings, some of the most psychic beings on the planet. Um, so trust your intuition when it comes to your finances and resources this week. Equally, on the opposite end of the scale, if somebody is saying to you, you wanna do this, you're gonna miss out, like this is a great financial opportunity and your gut saying, eh, you know what, I call me some bullshit. Listen, don't go ahead with it, but you must trust yourself this week, all right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the high priestess I usually see is like the waters of the body. So this week, pay attention to, like if you're partial to a little bit of a drink, um, if you are, um, oh gosh, come on brain. Um, whatever you are imbibing, all right? So whatever you're drinking, not necessarily just what you're eating, but whatever you're drinking this week, try to purify it, okay? Like whether that's water, whether it's juice, whether it's milk, whatever it is, be mindful of the liquids that you ingest this week. I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving you medical advice, I'm just telling you what the energies are. Um, and then finally, when it comes to your 
um, home and environment, this could be conversations or potentially big conversations with your mother. Um, so, you know, how that's going to play out, I don't know, because I don't know your relationship with your mum, but there could be an interesting conversation around health and vitality, and that's probably their health and vitality. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.